In this example, we're going to look at the behavior of current and voltage in an RC circuit, where the supply voltage is 100 volts at a frequency of 400 hertz, the resistor has a resistance of 20 ohms, and the capacitor has a capacitance of 15 microfarads. First of all, we'll calculate the capacitive reactance of the circuit. Now, the capacitive reactance Xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi Fc. So if we plug the values into this equation, we should get um, a figure for Xc. So we have Xc is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied by pi, multiplied by f, which is the frequency, which is 400 hertz, multiplied by the capacitance, which is 15 microfarads. And if we put those into our calculators, we get a value of 26.5 ohms. Now we'll look at calculating the impedance Z. And we know that the impedance Z is equal to the square root of R squared uh, plus C squared. So Z is equal to R squared plus uh, XC squared. That gives me 20 squared plus 26.5 squared. And getting the square root of that gives me 33.22 ohms. Now, now that we have calculated Z, we can calculate the current I. And the current I is simply the supply voltage divided by the impedance Z. And that we can show here. So I is equal to V over Z, which is 100 volts. We supply 100 volts divided by our impedance, which is 33.22 ohms. And that gives me a current of 3.01 amps. Now, the next part is to calculate the voltage across the resistor volts across the capacitor, the uh, power factor, and the uh, phase angle. Okay, so to calculate the voltage across the resistor, it's just I by R, and to calculate the voltage across the capacitor, it's just I by XC. And that can be shown here. So VR is I by R, which is our 3.01 amps, multiplied by the 20 uh, ohms, that gives me 60 volts. And the voltage across the capacitor here is I by Xc, which is 3.01 amps, multiplied by the 26.5, which we calculated up here, and that gives me 79.7 volts. To calculate uh, the cosine of the angle, or the power factor, uh, we have a formula. And that formula is cosine theta is equal to R over Z. So cosine theta is equal to 20 ohms, which is our resistance over our impedance uh, Z, which is 33 ohms, and that gives me a value of 0 0.606. Then to get theta, we just get the inverse cos of that. So if we get the inverse cos of 0 0.606, that will give us a phase angle of 52.6 degrees. Now we need to sketch a phasor diagram. And when we're doing the phasor diagram, we have to consider the acronym CIVIL. So here we have the acronym here. So in our circuit, the circuit is a series circuit with the resistor in uh, series with the capacitor. So the current is common to the resistor and the capacitor. What the civil tells us that in a capacitive circuit, the current leads the voltage. So in a capacitive circuit, see, the current I leads the voltage. So here we have the current vector going in this direction, and the voltage across the capacitor, which will go in this direction. Now, the voltage across the resistor is always in phase with the current. So the voltage across the resistor will be like this. We call that VR. So, if we want to complete the phasor diagram, we have to get the resultant vector and draw in the supply voltage and the phase angle. And we can do that now. To get the resultant vector, we just complete the parallelogram. So we have this vector here, which is the equivalent of the VC. And we have this vector here, which is the equivalent of the R. And then we just join the opposite. So that's our supply voltage, Vs. And the phase angle, that angle between supply voltage and the current, which is there. And we have calculated that to be 